Okay, this is the ER4SR. Um, this is a graph rig of mine, and this is a graph that was done by somebody called Purin, and this is a Super Audio Best Friends. And I know of him, he might have another username on HeadFi, and as far as doing graphs, he's been doing it for quite a while, and uh, among him and others, among him, uh, among others, he's considered to be somebody uh, who can do this well. Everybody can, there's a lot of people that can, but he's got a history, people look at his stuff and trust it. Uh, in a level or on a level similar to Tyler from what I observed so I'm gonna go ahead and use him so I got the same set that he's got right there and I'm gonna go ahead and I got to squeeze this foam to go ahead and slide it in there a little bit and then let the foam expand just a little bit take the end of the edimotic 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 I'm not sure of the name these things are not my cup of tea, but they're they're good for measuring. So we take a look at that graph, and what we're seeing is, according to Perrin's graph, this is the two bar. It looks like, so two, three, four. It looks like three is where the highest part of this is, and four is also elevated. And another elevation is around 10. Three, four, and 10 are, are where we're peaking. Looks like we're dropping around seven-ish. I'm running pink noise generator and I'm gonna go ahead and hit play okay it's actually still resolving it's doing its little count right there this is the two two K and the next bar is 3k that's about where the peak is according to Perrin's graph there's two and there's three that's exactly where the peak is so the highest point on this graph is the same as on that one the next bar over is slightly reduced but it is still elevated that is four and that is four so four is on the decline same as on this one and it looks like it's dropping and then coming back up and mine 10k is where is that 8 to 16 so we've actually got 8 kilohertz between here so it's hard to estimate I have a peak that's after 8 um, and he's got one that's at 10 so very very close uh, and prior to that this is going to 20 the accuracy below 30 uh, to everybody knows every everything below 30 and everything above 10 is um, unless you've got like the top of the line equipment is uh, take it with a grain of salt so this below this is going 50 to 20 but from 1k to 50 it's pretty flat and from 1k to about 50 it's pretty flat so all of the same the area that is most uh balanced is exactly the same as on this set the area that is elevated at its peak is exactly the same as this the next kilohertz, the fourth, third and fourth, would be the same as this. Third being the highest, fourth also being elevated, continuing in elevation to uh, beyond four. So when, when you get to 5K, you're almost at the bottom of the hill. And that's almost the same as on this side. 10K, mm, this says 10. I don't know why this doesn't. I'm going to reset it if I can. But if you look at these two they look about the same and I'm gonna take a, a mention now uh, clavinet junkie I got no problem with that guy F five years ago I would have I would have been angry because somebody didn't agree with me I think the guy offers a lot to the hobby um, his taste is obviously not the same as mine uh, but please don't call me stupid bro uh, I I'm not stupid I'm actually quite smart I just have different musical tastes than you so with the attacks please stop um, it I've gotten more subscriptions recently. I think it's because I don't want to get into the negativity. So I'm not going to, if you come into my thread and you talk about Clavinet, I'm just going to delete you. I don't want to have negativity. I'm not going to do it. And I'm taking a set that he likes and I'm using it because it is a good baseline. And there's my rig and how it displays it. And then there's Perrin. And let's, let's go even back out. 
to show you what I was doing. I was actually doing a Google image search and these are all quite uh, similar where it's peaking and where it's going down and then it's got an additional little boom at 10k and I'm, I'm I got the same thing that other people are doing this is important because what I'm gonna do you can see it in the video frame I'm gonna go ahead and take this out I'm gonna go ahead and unplug this okay so the ER4 SR is done forget about that that's uh, that's my voice reacting in there let me reset it uh, let me pause it actually that would be my voice now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take uh, the BGVP DM6 and I've been telling everybody that I don't really have a problem like other people have and I've done some graphs but they weren't as accurate and also I'm gonna use foam from now on because it is I'm surely gonna get a good seal and I just used foam to get the same as Perrin uh, for the ER4SR virtually identical the millimeters between the tube and the drive they're, they're variables that you'll never going to be able to that the cable that you there is it there's too much stuff but basically it's very much in line with what he's he's doing and I just did that with foam tips on the E R4 SR so I'm going to put foam tips on the on the DM6 and I'm gonna put it on right in front of you get it nice and That looks good. Now I'm going to plug this in. Now this is actually the T3 cable because I'm going to do the T3 after I do this. So this is a graph for the BGVP DM6 after just kind of calibrating it with the Etimotic. I think that's what it's called. Let me reset this and play. Now this is my set of DM6. And everybody says, you know, Chris likes bass. Chris likes bass, y'all. Take a look at that. It's always got the two, little bump at two. I've got this the same as where, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Critical. I looked at his graphs and it, it goes to 30 and then I think 85 so I'm in relative to the graphs that other people are doing now you look at 8k which is highlighted by the red bar that's a dip actually um, this is not a bad this is actually quite a good uh, frequency response and it's not the same as the one that I was going off of before although I was hitting the same I'm using a calibration file now uh, and it's it's working use calibration files this was the one that Critical did and I believe that this is what he got. I got something that was kind of similar, but a little, little lower. Um, using a foam tip, like I just did with that one, this is the response that I'm getting. So this is an uninterrupted video, and this is going from the ER4SR, and this is what my DM6 looks like. Biggest peak would be around four. Um, it's got the the some peaks for some detail in the trouble but it's not beyond the base is clearly dominant um, and AK where the red bar is which is my personal bad point is actually in a recess which is why I could never understand people's cringe with this set because I don't get that this particular set does this and again rewind and go back and check the I chose this one because of the person and the reputation that this person has. Uh, yeah, don't allow. Don't even know what that. Don't allow. Don't allow. Oh, fuck it. Allow it. Holy crap. And uh, there's Perrin. And here's his. And that was the one that I just basically mimicked with my own rig and without doing any adjustments this is the DM6 
Doesn't look quite like what you see in some of the other graphs, huh? But I'm doing it live right in front of you. I'm doing it right in front of you unedited. Okay, so that is the DM6 and that is how it sounds to me. All of my stuff calibrated, I've got this. I gotta say, as a message to Clavinet, and this is uh, respectful, he's older than me, he's older by maybe 20 years, so I'm not gonna be a young punk. The reason that I like the tube clavinet is because sometimes the tips, they get like a fold. You know what I mean? Like you stick the tip in and you can see the tip folds. If it's inside the ears rig, I can't see if that happens or not. But inside the tube, I can see if it happens and, and it actually does happen sometimes. So that's why I use this set. And because other people have been using it for years. It's a, it's a known quantity. Uh, and I trust it. So there, right there, is my graph for my personal set of the DM6. So if you thought, I don't have that harsh peak at 8. I don't either. There's a peak after that, but that's not 9. That's 10, actually. Remember, this is 16. There's, there's 8 kilohertz between these two points right here. So that's really likely about 10 right there, which sounds like my set. 